<laughs> the Philippines, a willing pawn of the United States. <laughs> The Philippine president said Monday his administration has no plan to give the United States access to more Philippine military bases and stressed that the American military's presence in several camps and sites so far was sparked by China's aggressive actions in the disputed South China Sea. Philippine President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. firmly ruling out the possibility of the United States gaining access to more Philippine military bases. His remarks come days after a landmark trilateral summit that saw the U.S., Japan and the Philippines signal plans for closer defense cooperation. Mr. Marcos says Manila has no plans to open or establish more bases under their enhanced defense cooperation agreement. The deal currently allows American troops to use almost 10 Philippine military bases, including some located near the South China Sea. Mr. Marcos then made clear that trilateral agreement signed between his country, the United States and Japan was not directed at anyone, but merely strengthened ties between the three. The meeting had sparked alarm from Beijing, who had slammed it as a smear attack on China. But the leader did warn that Manila's mutual defense treaty with Washington would be in vote if a foreign power should kill a Filipino soldier. Yeah, I think the United States is playing a, a very um, chaotic role in, in, in the South China Sea. First and foremost, the United States not even a signatory to UNCLOS. First and foremost, the United States not even a signatory to UNCLOS. First and foremost, the United States not even a signatory to UNCLOS. United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea. So th that, that's even a very paradoxical kind of situation for the United States to interfere in the South China Sea. Second is it's, it, it wants to preserve so-called freedom of navigation. That's more their interest. It's not the interest of my country. So if you look at it, the, the role that the United States is playing, pushing my country, telling my country as if they will back the Philippines when the time comes that there will be skirmishes between China and the Philippines and the South China Sea, is making the whole South China Sea issue complicated. It is not a party to the dispute. Probably the behavior of the United States should be that it should not interfere. So as a respectful country, probably they should refrain from interfering. Let the claimant states like China and the Philippines resolve their own problem. The problem with the United States, it has its own interests. And it's using my country as a proxy and a pawn in its Indo-Pacific strategy. And the battleground right now of this Indo-Pacific strategy is my country. And my country is being used to push the interests of the United States in the Indo-Pacific. And the problem only right now probably is the current administration is a willing pawn. I'm not saying that the Filipinos are the willing pawn. No, it's not. It's the administration. The United States is always a troublemaker. We don't want our country to be dragged in any kind of conflict that is not our own making and that will not protect us, and that will not put us in a very good situation, and it's not within our national interest. The national interest of the country, of my country, is peace, economic development, and preservation of our national sovereignty interest. The national interest of the country, of my country, is peace, economic development, and preservation of our national sovereignty. The country in the North is the most important part. The United States has been very clearly expressed the policy. The United States should clearly understand that the country in the North is the most important part. The United States should clearly understand that the country in the North is the most important part. 破坏地区稳定，试图引入外部力量来维护所谓的自身安全，只会导致自身更大的不安全，甚至沦为别人的棋子。我们敦促菲方停止在海上的姿势挑衅，敦促有关越位国家停止在南海挑动对抗。中方将继续采取必要措施，坚定捍卫自身的领土主权和海洋权益。维护南海的和平稳定。The problem with the United States, it has its own interests, and it's using my country as a proxy and a pawn in its Indo-Pacific strategy. And the battleground right now of this Indo-Pacific strategy is my country, and my country is being used to push the interests of the United States in the Indo-Pacific. And the problem only right now probably is 
the current administration is a willing pawn. It is very apparent and obvious that the Philippine government right now under President Bongbong Marcos is under the strong influence of the United States. We follow the American military agenda in the Indo-Pacific. That is making it difficult for the Philippines to deal with China because the framing of the issue will be elevated not in the context of territorial disputes with the Philippines and China but will be elevated to uh, a higher issue of great power competition. Involvement or, or likely involvement of outside powers is always a problem for all the ASEAN countries. And ASEAN uh, would rather, and this goes for all the ASEAN countries I believe, ASEAN would rather solve the issues themselves. I think uh, the future of South China Sea depends on the ASEAN itself as a grouping, plus China that has an interest uh, in the South China Sea. I think that's it. Uh, there shouldn't be any outside powers interfering. I think the problem of South China Sea is because there are or there is uh, outside powers interfering even though they don't have any claimants. Hey, hello friends, we come to the end already. Have you subscribed yet? Yeah, press the subscribe button and the like button and the share button. Thank you and have a nice day.